Thank you for participating in Forest Day 3. I'd like to begin by thanking the government of Denmark and Minister Polson for hosting the UN's 15th Conference of the Parties. We all applaud the leadership your nation has shown in meeting the challenges of climate change. I also want to recognize C4 and its Director General, Francis Seymour. At our 2000 meeting of the Clinton Global Initiative, which I convene in New York at the opening of the UN every year, C4 made a commitment in partnership with the government of Indonesia to provide us with analysis and research to inform the inclusion of forests and the people who depend on them in global and national climate change policies. With that promise came a plan to launch a new convocation of the world's tropical forest scientists, policymakers, and other stakeholders at an annual event called Forest Day. I'm grateful that C4 has followed through on that commitment. Forests can, indeed they must, play a major role in solving our climate problem. And we all have to act quickly. Conserving forests can have both local as well as global benefits. It provides local livelihoods by offering sustainable use of forest products. It safeguards the valuable ecosystem service forests provide today, protecting watersheds, preventing erosion. It protects biological diversity for future generations. Through RED, forests can offer an income stream to forest-rich countries. My Foundation's Climate Initiative is working with government partners in Guyana, Cambodia, Indonesia, Tanzania, and Kenya to develop avoided deforestation and reforestation strategies and projects and to link them to potential funding sources. We're also designing and implementing national measurement, reporting, and verification networks that enable countries to measure forest carbon credibly over time. That's critical to attracting public and private investment. This room is full of individuals with special knowledge of our planet's forests. Major international organizations that work on forests, representatives from governments, NGOs, and the private sector, and indigenous peoples. Starting at the first forest day in Bali, you have made a tremendous difference in our common fight. However, we must ensure that the lives of hundreds of millions of people who depend on forests for their very survival are not put at greater risk because of new policies. We must ensure that red schemes benefit poor communities, and we must give more attention to the role of forests in helping those communities adapt to climate change already underway. None of this would be easy or it would have been done before, but it can be done. Decision makers need facts. They need to understand the science and the economics. They need support from diverse constituencies represented here today, and they need options that make this work. We can do this together. I wish you all the best for a very productive day. Thank you.